I like to put it on my eyelids. It's like when somebody squirts lemon in your eye. You what? You too. Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video with your boy Lara Reacts. Oh shit. Here we go again. Today, we're gonna be reacting to a My Strange Addiction video. Now, in the thumbnail, I seen that the lady was giving an ultimatum between her addiction to vapor rub or her girlfriend. So, it looked like she was crying in there. So, we're gonna see what she ended up picking. I ain't gonna do too much more talking. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into it. What? I use all kinds of vapor rubs. The inhaler, the patches, the candles, but the rub is my favorite. I like to put it on my eyelids. It's like when somebody squirts lemon in your eye. You what? Danielle has been addicted to what? vapor rub for over 20 years. It started innocently as a child when she had a cold. She a crackhead. She got a real drug addiction. These real drugs. Mm. The first time I had my cleaners chest, and stuff. I was sick. And it just smelled so good to me. I wanted to taste it. And it just went on from there. Now, Danielle can't go more than 30 minutes without a fix. Damn! More than 30 minutes? Yeah, she a real crackhead, for real. And spends up to $300 a month to satisfy her cravings. $300 a month on vapor rub? Come on, bro. That don't make no sense. I like to use my inhaler as much as a full minute, just sitting there inhaling. It's like when you're what? really, really cold and you breathe. It kind of like stings a little, but kind of the good sting. <laughs> But sniffing inhalers isn't the only way Danielle satisfies her addiction. Bro, she just put that shit on her tongue. See, now I, ain't, I ain't no doctor, none of that. But I know that you ain't supposed to be putting no vapor rub in your mouth, bro. In your mouth? Get a scoop, put it in the back of my tongue. It's hot, and then it turns cold, and it, it keeps going back and forth. I like to feel it melt in the back of my throat. Oh, that's so weird. relaxing. Danielle is so hooked, she even needs vapor rub in her morning tea. I use it throughout the day, pretty much all day. Wake up in the morning, take a little finger. I'll use it in the car, and then when I go to bed at night, at work, some people go outside to have a cigarette. I'll go and use my vapor rub or my inhaler. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Nah, that's, that's when you know that this is too far. She gotta go outside to take a vapor rub break. Like how people go outside and take a cigarette break? Come on now, bro. Somebody need to get this lady some help. This ain't even funny. The smell is she definitely overwhelming. Die. There's no other smell in that house, but vapor rub almost. Gets completely out of control. You're making my Bruh, she, she is killing this shit. Maybe from way over there. Why well, would be over there if you didn't smell like that? But Danielle doesn't let her family's disapproval get in the way of her addiction. I'll hide vapor rub in some of my shoes, in my car, under my bed. It's one of the best hiding. This doesn't make no sense. You know, it's really, this is sad, honestly. She got a high vapor... <sighs> they trying to save her. She don't care. She's so into the vapor rub. She gonna hide it. She gonna have it regardless. She don't care what nobody talking about. She's gonna die. Fuck it. Nobody notices it's there. The fact that she hides it from me, I definitely feel betrayed a little bit. It is very sad that a little container of vapor rub could actually get in the way of, of a relationship. It's like consumptions of whatever that is can cause seizures. She's done it for so long, she's not ready to realize what it could possibly be. She's talking about 20 years. They say she went on this for 20 years. Says, I'm not going to stop. Probably going to continue using vapor rub until the day I die. Forever. But Danielle's girlfriend is worried about up? the long-term health effects and wants Danielle to see a doctor. I wanted to hear from somebody else that it could be very harmful to her. I did kind of want to talk to you a little bit about some concerns that I have uh, with your vapor rub. I'm really concerned, especially... She don't even want to hear that. Look how she looking. Come on, bro. You can't be doing that shit. You literally killing yourself. About your health. What are you asking me to do? Am I going to stop? So what if I said um, me or the vapor rub? 
what you got to say. What would you choose? If you was, I mean, I don't know, if you was that hooked on something for 20 years, you or your significant other, you gonna take your drugs or, or what? That's how much, like, I love it. She wilder. I can't love something as much as you. No. Not something as petty as vapor rub. One finger full of vapor rub could kill you. But it hasn't. Thanks. But that could be the same with anything. Anything. You could say that, you know, denim. denim. Bro, I hate when people start making excuses for every fucking thing. In the pores in your skin. So guess what? Jeans are causing cancer. Like it's not gonna be anything. You sound anything dumb. Can show up later and cause like an illness or disorder or death the well, same I mean, concept, you know the genes haven't affected you yet either and you wear them every day too i mean what it's the same what like, it doesn't make about? sense to me like it, it, i'm sorry it just it doesn't make sense to me i just i don't get like the big i don't get what you're talking about, about. They feel like try to make you happy by limiting it. So but you don't limit it. You just limit. So I see that you limit, and then I turn the corner and there's no, like four more. That's <coughs> only because in case those are like just in case. More excuses. More excuses. Clearly, what I say doesn't matter to you. If you're not gonna listen to me, listen to somebody who's gonna help you understand what it could possibly be doing to you. Well, what do you she want ain't to do? Not really. For you, not because I want to know, because I know the answer. But it's not gonna change anything. But you would give it a shot. I guess. Because what does that have to say what she says? So I think the doctor gonna say, I think the doctor gonna say, you finna kill yourself. If you eat one more, if you put one more scoop on your tongue, you gonna die. The following week, Danielle visits a doctor for the first time to talk about her vapor rub addiction. Why she hurt in her stomach? So what brings you in today? I have like this thing that I do with vapor I know that's about the lady with the vapor rub, but bro, I hate how her girlfriend dress. Why she keep wearing these Bill Cosby sweaters? I actually do like to use it on my chest and I like to eat it. Why would you, you say that? You fix it. Why would you say that? About how much of that do you use per day? I can go through a jar in a day. Have you noticed any bad side effects? Um, no, actually I haven't. My immediate reaction is that this cannot be good for your health. Are you aware that the active ingredient in the vapor rub is camphor, the toxic chemical? It's a poison when taken internally. You can buy it on the shelf that, that it's safe. Oral ingestion of camphor can cause coma, hallucinations, nausea, vomiting. I look at her. Death. She needs to stop just completely. I have your lab results. Luckily for you, the lab results are normal. But patients have died from vapor rub, from camphor. It can be fatal. Why is she it's acting surprised? Not like that's something supposed to be eternally. It, it's really hot in here. Can I just get up for a minute, please? That made her nervous. Yeah, she. That's literally the same thing that her girlfriend was telling her. Now the doctor telling her, now she getting all nervous. Like she can't go and do some research on her own. I, I, I understand people, bro. Why does she keep making excuses, bro? I know that I let myself do that. I know it probably wasn't what you were expecting to hear. I don't know. I don't want to think. You My should, recommendation would be she. The only thing that she should be thinking is, yeah, I'm never eating that shit again. How could she not be thinking that right now if that made her so nervous? Like, it's not even, this don't even make sense. And for you to, you know, stop using it completely. Mm. <laughs> like, she feel like that's crazy. I mean, I like, don't what? Think, I don't know, like, I don't know. What do you I mean you don't know? I feel like she doesn't understand. I'm hoping that eventually it'll sink in that this particular ingredient is very harmful to her. Oh, now what do you think? I don't know, like it's making me, it's making me nervous just thinking about stopping it.
that this is what you wanted. You wanted proof. You wanted proof. I didn't want proof. And she still didn't really tell you actually that it was vapor rub. She said it was the ingredient in vapor rub. One more to show. So how to do though? <laughs> so it's been medically figured out. It's proven. All right, I get it. What do you want me to say? I get it. I mean, I, I want you to say that you gonna quit. No what you mean? I'm a little bit irritated by it. That's it. I know I have to. I don't want to, but I know I have to. It's, you is on heroin. That is heroin, basically. You acting like a real fiend, for real. Still battling it. Bro, that don't make no sense. That's going to do it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.